Hey everyone! So today I'm doing a different kind of video, which is a story time video, which I never thought I would do, especially on my channel where it's more of a creativity channel. Um, but if you guys have been following over on Facebook, um, wait, hold on, hold on a second. First of all, let's address my hair, my new haircut. Do you guys like it? So far, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's always scary for me to get my hair cut because I really do like my long hair, but um, I just went for it this time and I cut it quite short, at least I feel like it's quite short, and I really like it. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments um, what you guys think, if you like the better long or if you like it short, um, but be nice. Because if you're not nice, I'm just going to delete your comment and block you anyways. So um, if you guys are here watching my video and you don't like my video, then I don't know why you're here just to say mean things. Um, so, see ya. Uh, but anyways, so yes, back to um, this whole story time thing. Uh, if you guys have been following over on Facebook, um, which that's where I do a lot of my updating of just little day-to-day -day things, so if you guys are interested in that and um, well, if you guys are interested in that and keeping up with my little things that I've got going on in my life, and Facebook is the best place to catch me. Um, yeah, Facebook. So, follow me over there if you want to keep up with all these crazy things. Anyway, um, if you already do follow me over on Facebook, then you know that, um, actually, in my last video, I did um, mention some exciting news, so I guess you guys already know about that part. But over on Facebook, I mentioned um, that we were having a tough time with something, and I didn't really want to talk too much about it just because it was supposed to be something fun, it was going to be a surprise um, for my family and for my friends and for my YouTube family, um, which is you guys. Um, so I didn't really want to um, divulge too much about it because I wanted it to be a fun surprise, but um, things didn't work out with that, and things actually went pretty horrible, and I'm going to tell you guys about that today because it's just kind of an unbelievable, crazy sort of thing that happened, and sort of an unheard of thing that doesn't come up very often from what we've been told. So the big news was that Victor and I bought a house. Which is so exciting for us, um, our first house, and exciting um, hopefully to our family and our friends just because something exciting is happening in our lives um, and you're always happy for the people that you love and stuff like that. So we bought a house, we um, did the usual things, um, if you guys don't know how it works, you go look at houses, uh, if you like a house, you put in an offer. And you have to consider a lot of things when you're doing that, but anyway, you put in your offer, it's either accepted or it's not accepted, and then you can do some negotiating or what have you. In this case, um, we found this house, we went to go look at it, we wanted to put in an offer, and when our realtor got in contact with their realtor to let them know that we wanted to put in an offer, he let us know that there was currently an offer on the house, they were in negotiations, but he said it doesn't look like things are going to work out with that so if you guys would like to um, put in an offer uh, then you know go, go ahead feel free but the problem was that they weren't getting the amount of money that they wanted from all the other previous offers so he told us what their top dollar was and if we could come in at that amount then the house was ours they would accept our offer no negotiating or anything so um, we thought about it and we really really love this house so we decided that that was fine their, their I guess bottom dollar I guess you'd say because that was the lowest they were willing to go was our top dollar so we didn't have room for negotiating on that anyway so it, was, it seemed perfect for us and we loved the house there was a few things that needed to be done backyard wasn't finished because the house was so new was only a year and a half old um, so um, we just figured this house was so nice that the amount of work and the amount of money that we'd have to put into the backyard wasn't that big of a deal 
and you're living in the house anyways, even if we only got the backyard done, blah 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 blah, this really doesn't matter. Anyhow, we put in the offer, of course it was accepted as they mentioned, but then um, their realtor had told our realtor that they are having some issues, they were going through a divorce, and um, he was having a hard time getting his clients um, to sign things and communicate with him. So. So when our uh, realtor was writing up our contract, he put um, the usual conditions that as long as these things are good, you're going to um, buy the house. So when you put in your offer, you write these conditions in, um, which the regular ones are um, financing, so you need to have financing through a bank, and you want to get the house inspected to make sure there's no huge issues because you don't want to buy a house that has a whole bunch of issues that you're just going to have to fix and it's going to cost you a lot of money right away. Um, so those are the two standard things, two standard conditions that people put on the sale when they buy a house. And then he also decided um, to put in an extra condition that was for our lawyer to review our contract to make sure everything was good only because these people were going through a divorce and I'm not really sure how that helps us because he's the one who prepared the um, offer and the contract in the first place but for some reason it made sense to him and we weren't concerned about it so he put it in there and he kept um, you know stressing at the end before we sent in our offer that these things have to be met by July 31st or essentially you or I guess Jul sorry July 1st or essentially you guys don't have a contract. If any of these things are missed, you don't have a contract. And so we had that July 1st thing in our heads and Victor wrote down lawyer financing and inspection done before July 1st. He wrote it down and that's what the date that we had in our heads. So we went along, we started um, with the financing because you want to get your financing done before your inspection because you don't want to do an inspection, pay $500 and then your financing isn't approved for whatever reason. So it's always a good idea whether you feel that you're certain you're going to get financing or not. It's a good idea to go ahead with the financing first and then the inspection. So we did that first and while the financing thing was happening, um, Victor contacted a lawyer we sent him the contract and they didn't get back to us as quickly as we hoped um, but they did get back to us and when they got back to us and we sent our realtor um, notice I guess that everything was good with the contract um, he said well you guys only had five days to get this done and we were very confused because we had July 1st hammered into our heads from the very beginning um, that we had to have all these things done by July 1st. We went back and looked at the contract and it indeed the condition that he added in, which is not usually in a contract, did say within five business days. But when he was stressing the, these dates to us, he said these have to be fulfilled by July 1st. So um, it ends up that we missed that five day mark with a lawyer but he didn't seem concerned about it and he just told us um, you know what it's okay we'll get this figured out on our end we'll send an amendment and um, we'll fix that up and it'll be fine so he didn't seem concerned about it he said it was fine it's not a big deal so we did that we sent them the amendment we never heard anything about it we never even thought about it after that um, and the seller never said anything to make us believe there was anything wrong and neither did their realtor or anything like that. Um, our realtor was just trying to make sure that we were getting our financing and inspection set up. So financing was approved, we, we did the inspection, paid our $500 for the inspection and everything was great and then um, on the day of our inspection the, the realtor asked us if we wanted to remove those two conditions and of course we did because we wanted to buy the house um, so he we sent them a notice saying that those conditions were now removed and at that point the house is officially ours 
So we're being congratulated, we're shaking hands, and it feels awesome because now we have a house and we can start dreaming of ourselves being in there and living in there. And it is such a beautiful house. So we were really, really happy about it and just really in love with it. Um, and very excited. Um, so we were just waiting for their realtor to put um, that the house was officially sold up on the MLS listing and put the sold sticker on the sign so that we could go take a picture and post it on Facebook to show everybody um, and just be excited and you know it's just awesome it's an awesome feeling to finally have something of your own and um, we wanted to share it with everybody so we were just waiting for all those things to happen um, and our realtor just told us just wait a couple of days and that should be done and a couple days later the real or our realtor contacted Victor and just um, had said to him just as a precaution myself and the seller's realtor would like it if you guys could um, just re-sign a contract just with all the conditions removed just so that later on down the road the lawyers or anything like that won't find any possible issue with the fact that those five days were missed. There wouldn't be any issues, it would just be clean and no possibility of that. They just wanted to make sure that this sale was going to go smoothly on closing day and everything was going to be awesome. And he said that the seller's realtor told him that his client already agreed to sign it as well um, and it was just a precaution. So. Um, we agreed to do that as well, our realtor came over, we signed the papers, and then he said um, just because the seller is having a hard time with getting um, them to sign things and, and getting hold of them because they work night shifts and stuff, just give them a couple of days to get this signed and everything's fine. So we waited a couple of days and then Victor called me early the morning that morning and um, I could tell when I answered the phone that he wasn't in a good mood and that's very unlike Victor. Victor's always happy, he's always in a good mood. Um, things don't get him down too hard even when he's down he still finds a way to laugh and I really like that about him so I could tell that there was there was something off and I just didn't want to let my mind go to the house and think that there was something wrong with that but as it turns out, that's exactly what it was. Um, our realtor called him and told him that um, the girl in the relationship on the, on the seller's side, she's the one who's really taking care of most of the stuff, um, that she said that she no longer wanted to sell us the house at that price, that she wanted $10,000 more and otherwise she was putting it back on the market. Um, and as I mentioned to you guys earlier, Victor and I were at the top of our budget with what we offered. It was agreed upon. That house was ours. And then she just decided that... Sorry. She just decided that she didn't want to sell us the house anymore for that price. And her realtor actually told her, you know, this is not right. You can't do this to people. You agreed to sell them this house for this amount and um, you can't do that and she didn't care. She didn't care, she didn't think to me, she didn't think of us as even real people because we're, she doesn't know us so she's just not thinking of us as people with feelings and you know dreams and all of these same things that she has inside of her we have too. She's not putting herself in the situation where somebody just took away these people's house. This was their house, it was officially their house, and she just um, didn't care. And I don't, I myself don't understand how somebody can do that. She took advantage of an unfortunate situation, something that happened, and yes, it was partially our, our fault because we didn't notice the five day thing, and you know, partially our realtor's fault because while he was calling us, during the process to remind us or just to see how things were going, he was only stressing the financing and the inspection. It was almost like he forgot even that he put that extra condition in there. So some of the fault has to fall on him as well 
um, because this is our first time, we've never done it before, and he's been doing it for 26 years. He's supposed to be looking out for us and making sure that we're getting all of these things done, but he wasn't, regardless, he wasn't reminding us of this five days. He was calling to remind us of financing and to get the inspection set up. That, that honestly was really it, um, but in the end, it's still partially our fault because um, we didn't go over the contract again to reread it. But the thing is that we had pre-read the contract before signing it, um, before the conditions had been put in, but before signing it, we pre-read everything to make sure we understood it and to get the offer process going faster. So anyways, we thought we knew exactly what was in it and the July 3rd, the July 1st date was stressed and that's, we thought we had everything under control. Um, so. That's the story that I wanted to tell you guys today. Um, disappointing, and so we lost our house, and uh, I'm really sad about that. We're both really sad about that, and it's been um, difficult for me to feel really uh, positive and upbeat and encouraged for doing lots of videos. So if you've noticed that I've had a little bit of a lull in my video posting, that's the reason why. But I'm getting through it, I'm pushing through it, um, I'm going to have lots of videos for you guys coming up, so please, please stick around. I love you guys so much and I appreciate everyone who subscribes to my channel and I'm so glad to have you guys here um, just watching the things I want to show you guys and um, teaching you how to do things and teaching you to be creative or showing you something new hopefully um, and I just, I just love doing these videos and YouTube and my blog so much and um, I know and I hope or I guess I hope that even whenever I have times when things are slow that you guys will just stick around um, because it's worth it and because you like me and I love you guys um, so I just want to say a thank you right here right now just for everybody who is subscribed to my channel and who follows me regularly and even people who just occasionally watch my videos you're all welcome and um, I think you guys are all awesome and I love talking to you guys when I post my videos and stuff. Anyway, um, that's it. I'm done. That's the story. Um, I hope I didn't forget to mention anything. I feel like I talked enough <laughs> and I feel like I have remembered to tell you all of the details. Um, at least all the important ones. So anyways, I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then leave me a comment in the comment section. I don't know if I have a whole lot of stories to tell, but this one was a little bit crazy. Um, so I wanted to tell all of you guys because I feel like you guys are my friends. Um, so I hope you guys like it. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And come follow me over on Facebook so you can keep up with everything that I've got going on in my life. Um, and my blog because I do post other things on there that I'm not always making videos of. So that's all for me for today. I hope you guys have a super awesome day yourselves and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!